The culture exegetes of today counsel us to show unbelievers how much alike we are. Show them that Christians are just normal people just like them. One very popular preacher who calls himself Reformed tells Christians that unbelievers should be able to look at them and think, wow, they're just like me. I suppose I could be a Christian too. Friends, the very last thing that unbelievers should conclude when they look at you is that you're just like them and they can be just like you. They should look at you and see someone so totally different from them, so set apart from the world, so free from the bondage of this world's cares and false pleasures. The virtue and holiness of your life should be so evident to them that the only conclusion they could possibly come to is that something entirely supernatural has taken place in your life and that they have no hope of ever being like you unless that same miracle takes place in their lives. Please note, he was not talking about clothing. He was talking about how we look having put on the Lord Jesus Christ. You and I should be radically different from the world, which means you should be finding yourself ostracized, not because you have bad manners and don't know how to hold your silverware, but because, well, frankly, you just make people feel uncomfortable. He doesn't swear. She doesn't engage in any sort of gossip. That person is just different, and I don't feel comfortable with them around because, well, they kind of convict me. Sure, clothing is an issue for the believer. We shouldn't dress in scandalous ways. We shouldn't look worldly. We shouldn't be revealing things that God says you're supposed to be covering. But that is minutia compared to the holiness that we should be exuding. No, I'm not talking about walking around with our heads in some ethereal clouds. I'm talking about genuine holiness, not smashing it into people's face not ever practicing some discretion. We don't have to say every judgmental thing that's on our mind. Frankly, I'd never stop talking. But we must be holy. And we know that everyone who does strive to be holy will be persecuted. We don't go looking for it. You don't try to get kicked out of the club. But if you have never experienced a at least a look, because you're so different, um, maybe you got some thinking to do. I'll be needing to see some identification, young man. Why? Because you, my friend, are a lawbreaker. No, I'm not. You are, according to this video from Ray Comfort. Production. I need the clips on time. 911, what's your emergency? We met about. Yeah, he asked me this. to become a gospel partner and he took my credit card.